Since we started Community, we've seen God respond to our prayers and break through in amazing ways. From the very beginning, we prayed that Community would be an impact church. It wasn't long before God broke through and we became one of the fastest growing churches in the country. But we also prayed for a breakthrough to become a reproducing church. And our church began to reproduce a second, third, fourth, and eventually 10 locations across the city and suburbs. And now we are looking ahead to the next few years for our church family. And as we pray and ask God, what's next for community? We believe he is saying, ask me for a breakthrough. Breakthrough happens in places, in all the places we have community locations. Our Downers Grove location recently acquired a new church building in a great neighborhood. Breakthrough will invest in renovation and remodeling this new facility. Our Plainfield location is bursting at the seams after moving into our new facility, and now we need to invest in additional parking, replace the roof, and install a much needed traffic light to accommodate the growth. A 24-7 multi-use space is needed in Lincoln Park to make our presence and impact much greater in that community. We plan to lease or purchase ministry space for outreach initiatives, new and expanded ministries, as well as strengthening our community partnerships throughout the city. Our Lincoln Square location is in need of updating and renovation. A partnership with Gateway to Learning could allow us to invest in a long-term lease relationship that would result in improvements to lighting, AV equipment, as well as upgrades to kid city spaces and common areas. We will begin a needs assessment for our Montgomery location. Now this could lead to relocating to a more visible 24-7 space that will allow us to reach hundreds of new families in that area. It has been five years since the auditorium was opened in Naperville and earlier building features are in need of some attention. We will redesign and update the gym and theater spaces to better engage and serve kids and students. Increased visibility of our new facility in Aurora is an important next step for that location. We'll invest in a long-term marketing campaign and create after-school programs for at-risk youth and ESL courses for the community. In Yorkville, we have an opportunity to reach new families seeking to find a church home. We'll invest in targeted outreach and marketing strategies to reach the growing numbers of families moving to Yorkville. Our Carillon location continues to serve those within the retirement community while expanding its legacy through Stuco scholarships. And we'll invest in updating the audio system for weekend services and raise additional funds for community student scholarships. And as the Lamont community continues to expand, we must remain intentional about outreach there. We'll invest in targeted outreach and marketing strategies to reach those who make Lamont home. We plan to launch community online in earnest after a very successful beta test run. Improvements in technology will be made as well as creating a 3C platform, allowing our online attenders to celebrate, connect, and contribute as they find their way back to God. On Sunday, November 17, all of our community locations will come together and each family will bring a one-time gift. On that day, bring that gift as well as your commitment to Breakthrough. And remember, Breakthrough is a commitment above and beyond our regular giving over the next three years. My name is Berta Fuse, and I've been attending Community Christian Plainfield for the last 18 months. I first came to community heartbroken, grief-stricken, I, I, I was in a very, very dark place. I was trying to figure out how am I gonna survive? And I just refused to believe that the Lord would abandon me. And then I just remembered driving past Community Christian on Route 59. I said, I'm gonna go in there one day. The relationship starts in the parking lot. There's people that are there, there, and no matter the weather, they're there to guide you into the parking lot. You get out of your car, you go to the door. Good morning. Then you walk inside the church and they're singing praise music. And then you have Tanya that walks up on stage and says, welcome to Community Christian, where our mission is helping people find their way back to God. All I knew in that, that particular moment was, Lord, I surrender and I am willing for you to help me get over my heartbreak and my grief. My son died on February 2nd, 2018. My son committed suicide. I was heartbroken. My whole life changed that day. 
because all I kept thinking was, Lord, only you can help me. Otherwise, I won't survive it. And then I go walking in the community Christian where I can kind of sit up straight and hold my head up. The first group I went to, Grief Share. That's when I finally figured out that I was not in this grief thing alone. And then I joined other groups, you know, women's groups, Bible study. I had never been a person that could understand the Bible. And there's days that he gives you a scripture that lets you know, I hear you when you doubt it. Go and not be grieved for the joy of the Lord is my strength. And getting baptized. It was one of those open calls. And it's almost like something, the spirit or something pushed me up out of my seat. Cause I stood up and I tiptoed down there and I, almost, I was almost dancing down the stairs. When I came up out of the water, I felt new. I felt like I feel right now. I can feel it. It seemed like everything, everything I'd ever done or it just seemed like it was all washed away and I was made whole and I was home. When I think of breakthrough, I think of opportunity. I can see where the Lord has taken us. You know, I look at all the things that community does throughout the world and I'm thinking all the way over there too. Take that step. Come on over to Community Christian. We've got sites somewhere everywhere. Plainfield, I'm more partial to Plainfield. Even if you're not going through something, imagine how much better your life will be if you connect and how much you can change somebody's life by getting involved with this breakthrough initiative. I want to figure out what more I can do. What more can I do? And I'm praying. I've been praying. And I'm praying, Lord, whatever that breakthrough is, I want to be able to walk it and talk it for my church.